This video is for you if you are traveling through Arizona and considering stopping by Sedona. My wife and I travel full time in our RV with our cats Lila and Zeppelin and our puppy Tacoma. We had heard about how amazing Sedona was and wanted to see for ourselves. So we left Albuquerque, New Mexico late in the evening and headed to Sedona. There was some snow that slowed us down going through Flagstaff, but we drove all the way through the night to Sedona. We woke up the next morning and went to find our camping spot for the next two weeks. We like to boondock, which means camping on public lands with no amenities. That means no water, no electric, no dumping. It saves money and is a much more freeing experience to conventional RV parks. Online we had found a forest road with lots of camping spots and headed that way to stake a claim to one. The road was bumpy and very crowded at most spots for the first couple miles. But we continued farther down the road until we found a beautiful spot of our own with great views and it even had a little trail nearby to take Tacoma on walks. After a hectic day and a half of travel, we decided to crack open a bottle of port and enjoy the sunset together before cooking dinner and turning in for the night. The next day was fairly rainy and overcast so we made a run into town and took Tacoma to the local dog park in Collinwood to get his pent up energy out. The rain made us track in lots of mud, which required cleaning, but the rainy feel made for another comfy night in the RV. So far, Sedona had been rainier than we thought, but we were hoping it would clear up even though the weather showed snow. We decided to go to Flagstaff to fetch some packages, taking the scenic route 89 up to Flagstaff. The drive was gorgeous and worth taking in any weather if it's not closed. We enjoyed the snow and Kinsey made a snowman while Tacoma played. It was only on the drive down where the snow became hazardous and we had to slow down due to heavy traffic and wrecks up ahead. But now that we're coming back around 4 o'clock p.m., it is snowing and coming down this back mountain road. The roads are kind of slick and we're going super slow. We stopped in Sedona that night to get some water before heading home. On the Money Force road to our campsite, we met a couple renting a camping van who had gotten stuck. Thankfully, we were able to pull them out and invited them to join us at our campsite and go hiking the next day. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture any footage of that incident. The next day, we went on a hike with our new friends, Harris and Tori, who were great company. The hike ended up taking us to the Chapel of the Cross, which was one of our must-sees while in Sedona. The chapel was beautiful and uncrowded due to the gloomy weather. Afterwards, Harris and Tori were kind enough to treat us to lunch before heading off to their next destination. The next few days were a winter wonderland where we mainly spent time relaxing, playing outside, or shipping packages for Kinsey's business and getting footage for more YouTube videos. Although the snow ruined some of our plans for hikes, it was a beautiful way to stay in Sedona and get gorgeous views. Once the snow started to melt, we checked off another item on our list called the Devil's Bridge. It was an easy hike except for a grueling final mile in complete ice. Due to the ice, we had to crawl on all fours at some points and didn't get much footage. The arch is definitely worth the view, but I would not attempt it again if it was icy. So we finally made it to the Devil's Arch. Some people were nice enough to take a photo of us and you can see it's an awesome spot, but kind of scary in the snow. And Coma did great on the way up here, but we're draining the way down because it's really iced up. Sedona finally started to dry out over the next couple of days, and Kinsey got to perform yoga outside in the sun. She also recorded some videos for her yoga channel. You should definitely check out Gypsy Yoga if you are looking to get into yoga as a beginner or returning to it. We spent some time off-roading 
and Lila and Zeppelin snuggled and played. Kinsey even took Lila for her first walk as part of our plan to leash train the cats. She was meowing at me while I was doing yoga out the window, and so I figured she went it outside. And you can see Tacoma's not liking someone else getting attention. Oh. <laughs> She's so, like, low. What'd you smell? Once we were sure the ice had melted off of most of Sedona, we went to hike the beautiful Cathedral Rock. It was a shorter hike than Devil's Bridge, but almost vertical, and would have been impossible with any ice on the trail. It was a gorgeous hike and an amazing overlook at the end point. It's one of the vortex hikes and is a very spiritual place. So we're almost back to the car and we just did Cathedral Rock and I thought it was a really cool hike. What do you think, Kenzie? Do you think it's worth it? It was definitely worth it. The hike is very strenuous, so yeah. beware, but it was definitely worth the hike. The view is awesome, but I would say if it's wet at all, don't even try, dude, because you're going up this pretty much completely slick rock and it started just to sprinkle a little bit of rain and I was really nervous because it was already so slick when it was dry. We spent the next day or two cleaning the RV and truck and getting ready to leave. It's moving day. Tyler, we gotta get up. We gotta go. I know, but I don't want it. <laughs> it's warm in here. We enjoyed Sedona and wanted to do more, but have plans to see Utah in the coming weeks. We hope to be back to Sedona when it's sunnier so that we can get more hikes done as we had a much longer list but the snow and other conditions limited the things we were able to do. So we're leaving Sedona and we're going to, well, the Grand Canyon first, right? And then up to Page. It's been a great time here. We stayed about two weeks, a week of snow and a couple days of sun. Uh, we got some great views and met some really cool people, but we're excited to see what northern, northern Arizona and southern Utah holds for us. I would definitely suggest stopping by Sedona if you can and doing some of the hikes and other local attractions. Do check the weather though and plan your trip accordingly.